All right, so, you feeling good? Yeah. Pain? No. Nothing at all? No. Okay. I've been taking care of Riley since she was born. Even from a really young age, she was just a big personality. One of the most special things about her, from my perspective, is her ability to advocate for herself. She really will tell you exactly what she needs. She knows what her medications are when she takes them. She started a medication called hydroxyurea before she was one year of age. It not only prevents the current complications, but it's gonna prevent long-term damage to all of her end organs. So the earlier you start it, the more you're doing for protecting the kidneys, the liver, the brain, the heart, all of the parts of the body. Riley is the poster child for why newborn screening is so important. Before newborn screening and before prophylactic penicillin, a quarter of all infants died before the age of two from overwhelming infection and sepsis. No doubt that her early identification of her disease and early preventative therapy has made a huge impact on her overall health. And it really all goes back to the work of Lawrence Neal Cooper Smith, ensuring that sickle cell disease was included on the newborn screen in the state of Virginia so that children could be identified at birth. Having this professorship allows the university to have faculty who are dedicated not only to the care of sickle cell disease, but also to making sure that we are on the cutting edge of sickle cell disease care is just, it's such an amazing resource for us and for our patients. Florence, she and Riley actually have quite a lot in common in their, not only their big heart for sickle cell disease and the passion that they feel about it, uh, but also just in, both of them have the ability to win you over very quickly. Every single time she comes to clinic, she brings some little gift for me. And I tell her over and over again not to, and she just says, we're so thankful for what VCU does. We're so thankful for what you're able to do. So I think that speaks volumes about what this work can do in a patient's life.